Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Scorpio. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so, alright, so somebody doesn't want to leave something here. They're watching somebody intently. Maybe social media. Could be something here. They may have gone towards somebody or isn't able to go towards somebody here with the Six of Swords in reverse. They may be stuck in the past here or resisting some type of change. Therefore, the only thing they can do is watch you. They may have been cold to you. You may be cold to them. Maybe even that... I want to say aloof, acting aloof from each other. This Queen of Swords is about change here. So what is about to change, Spirit? Hmm. Somebody, I feel, fears that you will not take their offer, that you will reject them. You will reject their offer of love. Hmm. Somebody may be seeking a bit of revenge here. They are revengeful. They have a temper. They're lacking virtue. Hmm. They feel out in the cold here. They may not be spiritual at all. They may not be married. They may not want to be married. Scorpio. Scorpio's person. Scorpio, Scorpio's person. We have justice here. Scorpio, you may be getting justice or somebody is getting justice here. Ooh, we have the King of Swords. We have a divine match, but one is inverted and the other one is upright. And with the King of Swords, this is somebody that's kind of controlling very, very controlling. They want to dictate what you will do, what will happen. They want to be in control, control, control. That's what I'm getting here. Now, this may be why you walked away from this person, because I do feel with this out in the cold here, they may be getting some karma here, and you may be getting your justice when it comes to this person. It looks like there may be two other people here. Maybe even three. I do feel like somebody is definitely not wanting to walk away. They may be stuck in the past or you may be different than what you were in the past and they liked that version of you in the past you were able to control. I kind of feel you may resist this person and their offer. Somebody might be seeking revenge here. It could be this person that doesn't want to walk away or have you walk away. They may be suffering this karma. And this may be a divorce. You may have been divorced from this person with the Hierophant in reverse. They could have cheated on you. This is maybe you wanting freedom from this person. This is somebody that is unwanted. This may be somebody that's peer pressuring you. Justice is in coming in for you here though. This is something that needed to be balanced. Doing something right and somebody paying karmic debts. With this king of swords in reverse, this is somebody that really is ruthless, maybe even inhumane to animals. Let's have a look here at your energy and their energy. Let's get your energy for Scorpio. Your energy, mm, this could be a past love, this could be in this lifetime, or this could be somebody from a past lifetime the lifetime before this one, maybe even many that they have traveled with you. This could be somebody that comes into your energy every lifetime. You're very attractive. There's some type of attraction that you have with this person. 
you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and perhaps at the time you did. Yeah, there may have been a lot of chemistry here, a strong magnetic attraction. Let's see what this person is feeling. There's forgiving and learning. They may be learning this right now. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your personal or your present moments. So having those present moments now, they may be able to have more love if they can release. And that's just a cue that that's true. They want to give this relationship a chance or wish that you would work out on work on your re on your partnership and this person may have addictions or they have some type of codependency when it comes to you. I kind of feeling like they don't like to be by themselves. When they're by themselves, they can't even look in the mirror at one point and I feel like this may be something that is affecting this relationship. You may have picked up on this already and may not want this person back. I feel like this may have already come and gone and this person is still lingering in your energy. What's your combined energy? Okay, so perhaps you were married to this person. Your love life is being affected by children. So perhaps there's children involved. It could be grandchildren as well. It doesn't have to be a small child. It can be an older um, child as well or even could be a sibling that is affecting this um, union. Now it could be this maybe even a grown up, grown up child that may be interfering about you two getting back together. Now let's just see here what are the intentions? What are your intentions please? Mm. Okay, so your intention, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. They may have called you, like I said. They may have already called you. Now, whether you did anything about this or ignored them or ghosted them or didn't want anything to do with them. Let's see, what was your intention behind this love call? Yeah, you're running. This is a codependent person that is running after you fear of intimacy or listening to their ego and I feel like you ran from this call that's just confirming that that's true let's get one more for you yeah you may be meeting other people and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and having friendships without this person I feel like you may be just open to having coffee with them but I feel like that's kind of overdone with you may have already put this to bed but I feel like you've forgiven this person or this is already learned from this is something you've already learned what about your person what is their intentions towards you what is their intention Scorpio <laughs> okay so they may have been hit by Cupid Zero here they may feel like they are in love with you have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Now, this person may get hit by Cupid's arrow where they may meet someone new. And you may be off the hook here, so <laughs> let's just keep going here. What else is this person intending for Scorpio? What is this person intending for Scorpio? Hmm. Yeah, there is an ending here. So endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. And I feel like this person is hoping that whatever ending that you may have had is done with and now a new beginning can start with you. And that may be that they want to just be friends. Let's see. What else here? One more. Thank you. Talking. They are interested in talking to you emailing you. They're kind of hovering because they do still have that codependency. This may be something they are learning um, about and forgiving themselves about things that they maybe have shame over or have had happen to them in the past. They may be dealing with those things now, maybe as a child. Now, they are interested. Um, they await your message to talk to them. You may know who this is. You may not have a clue who this might be from your past. And I'm feeling like you it may not be who you think it is. Yeah, this person wants to have this resolved. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. And that could be why that child is there. 
So wanting to heal, I feel like you may have already been there, done that, you've already gotten to that point of the dark night of the soul, or you're still in it and still healing. Now, you're going to have the option, I'm feeling here, of whether you want to go forward with this or if you do not. Let's see what the tarot says here, the after tarot. What's the six of swords here in reverse? Who's stuck in the past here or is liking this past version of this person? Mm. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. <laughs> now, usually the Page of Wands is acting on chance, but when it's in reverse, it's somebody that's stuck, okay? They're kind of being unreliable, impatient, kind of lacking goals, or just really pessimistic, maybe even gullible energy here. Maybe listening to people that maybe they shouldn't be somebody that's kind of pushing them to go a certain way because they're trying to control the situation. And when people listen to their friends without consulting their own heart, then they give away their power. And now that person that they're listening to can lead them down a different path that maybe they were not meant to go down. Yeah, there's celebration or they're wanting to celebrate or they could be watching you celebrate something here. Maybe that you are out and about and being with the community, making friends, being around family. Let's see what this Queen of Wands is all about here. The Queen of Wands here. I'm kind of feeling with the runner chaser type of dynamic here. This could be a twin flame with you, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, they may not be healing just yet. They may be really resisting this change, which we saw earlier. And with the Hermit in reverse, this is um, uh, Virgo. This is all about patience, and they're really rejecting that. Um, they're really feeling isolated, maybe feeling alone, having loneliness, or feeling rejected. And that may be why they're cold, coming off cold and um, aloof at this time. They may see you being really intelligent and powerful and independent. And that may bother them. I feel like I'm getting this kind of hero energy. They want to be your hero. They want to feel needed. And I feel like you're just like, I, I don't need you. I, I want to have somebody, but I don't. I don't need you for anything. I can provide everything for myself. And your self-taught self-worth is up high. You, I feel like you're not in that energy. And they are having to catch up by a lot. I feel like they're, they're way behind you when it comes to healing. I don't even feel like they have healed anything yet. Yeah, you're walking away from this person. They may be checking the cup to see if you did reject this person. Absolutely did. This person may have tried to emotionally manipulate you. You may have been anxious and overwhelmed. You may have even uh, questioned your own intuition, your own self. And that was the last straw, I feel, for you before things changed for you. You're not looking back at this now. You've already walked away from this person once. And now I feel like you're not having it. Yeah, there's too many secrets and too many people involved with that other person there. You are actually seeing what is being hidden here. What is this Queen of Wands in reverse? This domineering and revengeful person. This is somebody that's in their shadow self all the time. They're not in their light side at all. Yeah, they may have juggled and they may not have been able to adapt. I feel like with this, normally this is someone that can adapt and they're seeing their ships come in. But I feel like this is you and I feel like they are revengeful because they are watching you being able to adapt and have your ships come in and I feel like they want to seek revenge on you because of that reason. They don't like that you're doing well without them and you're doing it all on your own. Yeah, they may have been having sleepless nights 
or trying to attack you at nighttime with dark magic because they're not in their light side whatsoever. They are only in the dark. And with the Nine of Swords here, this is all about having nightmares, about having mental anguish or depression or anxiety. And I feel like there's guilt here. They cannot change the past. And I feel like they're learning how to... Oh, I see here. You're learning how to slay this monster. You're, you're protecting yourself with telling spirit that you are protected or this dark magic to return to sender that you are not playing return to sender times 10 million even that you're not playing this game with this person you cannot come into my dream state you cannot come into my astral planning you cannot come into my energy at all without my permission or without god's permission spirit god himself is protecting me and i feel like you've learned how to protect yourself with this sword coming in in the after tarot they they are trying to manipulate you even while you sleep so with this dark magic let's have a look here i don't know who this is but this is somebody that is an ex to you You may have been married, but I'm kind of really getting that more that it's about cheating here. This is how you think. They may they may be insecure or hoping to make you insecure, confuse you or have some type of romantic illusion. But you are not you are not taking this offer and it all has to do with them picking someone over you and dumping out your cup. You are the blessing. Scorpio, you are the blessing. What is this justice here? Or your person was the blessing. One of the two, depending on who you are in this, I'm feeling this maybe a masculine that is wishing harm on a feminine, which is very not usually, well, I guess I can't say that, but I feel like this was supposed to be your twin flame and this person really has it in for you. They don't, they, they're, I, th I feel like it's a big ego hit for this person and they're not handling it well. Okay. What's this justice? You're getting your justice. You may even have said something to this person of what was going to happen. Like I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, and, um, Whoever is with me is going to get the benefits of this. Yeah, you get, and <laughs> I can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles, this is a gift. This is a financial blessing. And this is what you're getting for your car, for their karma. They're, you're getting your justice from this person, Scorpio. Wow. So whoever this dictator was to you, this person... From your past this codependent person that you're running from they may have really lost their cool here let's see what's this king of swords in reverse for Scorpio why is this king in in reverse for Scorpio hmm yeah it for this person they wanted to be able to have a good time not a long time and you may have been the person that was the third party that cheated on someone else with this person not knowing that you, they were with someone else so you could have been the third party now for some of you this may not resonate for everybody but I'm feeling here, this person wants to passionately come back and feels if they can charm you and make a proposal or an offer here, giving you the idea of love, that they're there to offer love, maybe marriage or some kind of, you, you may have turned down their marriage. 
this may have been a marriage proposal, but I feel like uh, you may have said no. And <laughs> this person did not like that at all. They might be passionately coming back in just, just to have that charging ahead motivated energy to impulsively take charge here of what's going on with you. I kind of feel like this person, yeah, I feel like they're passionately coming back to charm you of some way. Maybe some adventure that they're going to go on or the having courage that they're inspired action that they came there for somebody was telling them they should do this or they they had an epiphany that they needed to come in give me more on this knight of wands because i'm kind of getting and this is kind of why well, i'm not sure why this was on the fence i'm going to put it back and if it comes back out again then it's meant to tell me more about the knight of wands please more on the Knight of Wands. Thank you. Yeah, this person feels they have an advantage over everyone else. Like, this could be ego too. With the Seven of Wands. I kind of feel like this is that winning persona. That position of advantage. Trying to overcome challenges. And they did all this against all odds. And they're just so courageous and... They want to win at all costs, no matter what. No matter who gets hurt, I'm kind of getting with that. So let's see what lessons they may have learned. Let's see what you have learned first. What has Scorpio learned about this connection? What has Scorpio learned? Thank you, Spirit. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. And I feel like you... You were felt you felt like you were less than with this person, that they were more superior, maybe they had more money and they you would hold that over your head, or they would only help you if you did this, this and this, or something along those lines. This had to do with fruition. This is you wanted marriage with this person or you you thought this person might be the one. And I feel like you were unable to accept some type of emotion. I feel like you knew it was some type of illusion. I feel like you couldn't put your finger on it when it came to this. They may have had you uh, early on with this emotion uh, feeling like this was the one and then their true colors started to come out and you may have thought a little differently about this person after you got to know who they really were now this is your your angels ancestors and spirit guides your ascended masters here with number 11 forgiveness nothing is gained by holding on to the past disappointments. No matter who's disappointed you, it's about what you've learned from the experience, what you learned from it all. Would you recognize it again? Would you see it in other people to know to walk away from that? Would you be lured in again to this type of people of putting you down in a way that it's an emotional trauma making you feel less than? It's all about teamwork here. Or at least that's what it's meant to be. You're meant to be equals. We didn't come from the toe bone from Adam. And we were made for Adam not as a half of a person. <laughs> we're still a full person. We're equal to them. And a lot of certain masculines feel like they are more superior than the women. And... It's kind of shocking really to know that a lot of women can do a lot of the what men can do and sometimes even better. So there is some forgiveness here. Let's see here. What else? 
What else have you learned, Scorpio? Let's see. Physical touch. You may be one of love language, of having being sweeped off your feet or having that lovey, touchy type of energy that shows the other person that you are into them, that you love them or that you appreciate them. A tender touch can mean so much and that may be for you and that is kind of your love language that feely touchy wanna hug kind of love maybe this person has never felt that before unfortunately some cases that happens let's see what your person has learned whoa okay we got a couple here true love the love is uh, once in a lifetime, so this person may feel this is a true love moment for you, with you. The only one thing that is real is love. Sh shift your focus back to love. And I feel like they may have focused on money or other things versus love. And they may not have that spiritual connection, but they may be looking more into spirituality and connecting. A, a relationship has to connect that goes beyond this lifetime from lifetimes prior to which is all about that past life relationship which is quite fitting when it comes to this maybe you have talked about past life twin flame I feel like you are quite spiritual or your person may be what's the combined energy here that you learned to express your love through gifts, a small token of love can convey great appreciation. So your person may gift you things um, instead of that tender touch. There may be different in love language from this person. Let's see who's going to act here. What's your action towards your person here, towards this past life relationship? for Scorpio please okay wow look at that agreement a pack a partnership trust you may have trusted this person and really came to regret it at one point here there may have been closure on this I kind of feel like they may have even asked you to marry them at one time and if this isn't you that was asked, you may have asked your person, okay? So switch it, flip it, however it is to resonate for you. Now that's number seven. That's reflecting, assessing, knowledge, and spirituality. And I feel like you may have been told by your spirit guides that no, you're not meant to take this ring. Let's see. With the Ace of Clubs, that is the Ace of Wands. Now that is about family being impacted by this relationship, progress, or initiating something. So if it wasn't you, maybe it was your person that talked about or gave you a ring or wanted to have marriage or get engaged. Now you're grounded. You have past lives here once again coming through. It's evolving and you're connected to source. This is seven of hearts, which is seven of cups. And this is kind of wishful thinking, maybe having illusions, maybe indecision. Something's gonna change here with the number five. And number, what did we have there? Well, we had the ace of clubs, okay. Now, you may be the key here you may be the one that is the clarity for this person or the solution and that's how they may see you ascended masters are here once again to say there is a solution to this you're quite genius or have that insight you may be helpful you pay attention to energy you may feel it you may see it you may be consumed by it when you walk into a room. You may be able to tell what people are thinking, saying, and you may even know what happened just before you came in. You might be able to see it written all over their face 
or when you come in and your energy comes in you may be very bright and people notice you and some people don't like it when people outshine others so there's that as well I feel like you are definitely a faithful person you're dependable you provide you're a soulmate you're a very supportive friend your door you're a dog you're a loyal person a ten of hearts is a ton of cups you have that emotional happiness you have that long-term relationship you like to have a relationship not just a one-night stand you're not one of those people that goes and gives yourself freely just to anybody when you feel you have a connection with somebody and it's been a bit of time that goes by that before you were do that there's stability here with you and security you have a happy family happily ever after type of energy you have wish fulfillment with the number nine now you do have this person in your energy it's Taurus energy it's all about stability and they're very possessive codependent they may be your clingy and controlling they may do things without your consent they may ha want to come find you trap you or gel they are jealous they may even be a predator they even watch you which we already know they have been let's see what happens with this person clover happy coincidence unexpected rendezvous a fling they're kind of they have that short-lived energy with flingy kind of energy with the six of diamonds that's the six of pentacles that's balance given receiving this is having gratitude kindness and knowledge and time more giving than you receive they may be like that in the community and people see them as a generous person giving things to people all the time and this may be why they are well liked because people can get things from them let's see here the magnet longing desire magnetic attraction that that you may have they may want to seduce you they want to be your field of influence they want to control your narrative here number five is that is something they're meant to change there's the rainbow here they want that wish granted I feel like they may be asking spirit here for this to come back into your life they may see that you are getting your blessings that you're good luck that you're patient and that you've been promised something here you may have been manifesting well this is cancer energy and this person that is your person is the masculine that we have been talking about they were a boyfriend a fiance a spouse it says you are your current current <laughs> you are this person I'm just gonna skip that <laughs> it's querent querent um, you are your person you know who this is so and this is 10 energy number 10 so you maybe already left this person they want to come back they're still in your energy and want to consume you possess you control you hold you hostage they may have even said they want to put you in a closet or they just want to be with you no one else can share that energy what's the combined energy between the two uh -huh. The universe <laughs> wow so the big picture all that is creative force the law of one unending infinite so this is all about connecting with your higher perspective heaven and awakening and I feel like you have already started your awakening maybe even years ago you're still awakening you're still going through phases of an awakening and this person I feel is really resisting that awakening they do not want to change anything you're coming out in your own reading here with the universe Scorpio 
So you may be connecting to source here and this may be something of awakening still for you but this person is totally completely resisting this change. Let's look at what the outcome is for Scorpio. For you, Scorpio, what is going on for you? Let's just get a couple cards. What's the outcome for Scorpio here? There's a change here. And the child is out once again. And expectation. Let's get this leather one that, yeah, great fortune. Wow. Okay. So you may have made this change already. You are looking at your fruition. You may have walked away, moved out, or took your power and your energy and got away from people that were not good for your highest and greatest good. You may have already been doing your inner child work and Spirit may have said that you should be expecting something good from doing the work, changing something in your life, and maybe even going into service for Spirit, and you're going to be having a blessing here of great fortune. Okay, this may be a mature woman I'm talking to. Let's see about your other person. Okay, so they may want to buy a house near you there might be a house that's in concern a concern to somebody here ah, they may be married to someone else and you like I said I felt like you may have been the third party here that was cheating with this man on his wife you may not even have known they were married Yeah, this may be a wealthy man here. Let's get one more. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this person is concerned about a house. Their concern is that you're going to get married to a wealthy man because this is meant for you, this pathway. I feel like this wealthy man is buying a house and fixing it up for you, Scorpio, or your person is the Scorpio, take how it resonates. Whoever you are in this, whether you're the mature woman or the wealthy man, but somebody here does not, they have a lot of concern that you're going to get married to a wealthy man get a house and this is what's meant to happen because you're you're on your pathway and perhaps this wealthy man is too what's the combined energy yeah this is going to be a journey after you've let this other person go this is who you're going to come into contact with this is going to be a journey that you end up going on and if this is you this is your person Okay, so take it, flip it, switch it, however it needs to be for you. Let's see what your intuition's telling you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, your intuition is telling you that somebody's charging in to fight for something here. And what is this person here? What is their energy? What's their intuition telling them? Mm, that this is somebody from your past. Okay, so this wealthy man may be somebody you know that's going to go chase you, come in after you, charge in after you with the Knight of Swords. This is that fast thinking, as being assertive, unstoppable, and seizing the moment kind of action. Let's see what we have for the bottom of the deck for you. A uh, passionate new beginning. And for your wealthy man here, Knight of Swords. Hmm. Now, is this the person that is 
the knight of swords in reverse this dictator somebody that's manipulative hmm right on target They may have said they're going to change. They want to marry you, get a house. They may say they're wealthy. You're getting a great fortune, though. Who's the wealthy man, then? Making a decision. Healing. Didn't use his intuition or not wanting someone to use their intuition How about love coming forward I kind of feel like this may be somebody that's coming in to stop you from moving forward with who you're meant to be they're trying to come in between you and somebody and you're gonna have to decide who this is whether it's this wealthy man or this king of swords or if this king of swords is this wealthy man I feel like you're gonna know it's not gonna be it's not gonna be hard at all because somebody's gonna not even consult with you about what your wishes are and they're just gonna make all the arrangements regardless of what you want and they're going to try to overpower whatever you want or talk you out of things that you maybe want or that kind of energy where they are trying to control your every move and I feel like you're going to know exactly who this is and whether you are meant to have anything to do with them or not I feel like spirit maybe have already told you who to walk away from who's allowed to come with you on your journey and who is not and I feel like you're gonna have to use your intuition this may be a test for you this may be a test from spirit to see if you learned the lesson or if you need to revisit that lesson once more because if you do go with whoever this dictator energy is I feel like you're going to you're going to end up learning that lesson once more about being with somebody like that and how hard it is to get away from these people or how it's never that hard because there's always a back door to anything it's just knowing that you have resources out there and knowing who to get in touch with in order to do what you need to do to get away now if you choose to stay with this person regardless of who's who here and you end up with the wrong choice it's not anything that's really wrong you just needed to learn something over again that you maybe didn't get the first time so it's never a wrong thing it's always just a lesson that you learn and if you go with the person you're meant to go with you're still going to learn lessons regardless but they may not be so detrimental or may not be so terrible I want to say terrible <laughs> they may not be that heartbreaking they may not be that devastating okay so but in any case how we learn is by devastation or hurt in some way and that way we're never gonna forget right but the idea is forgiving and moving forward and not keeping it as baggage that you pull with you so that learning what you needed to learn from that person what you may have contributed yourself maybe you didn't have enough boundaries or perhaps this person walked all over your boundaries and didn't respect you and your boundaries okay so there's always two to every story and it's not ever just one person okay it's how you interact with that person too so whether you manipulate or they manipulate or however it goes maybe you're being authentic self maybe you did nothing wrong okay and when it's a case like that this other person will end up having that karma so 
there's never anything to worry about because spirit will take care of it. You just have to believe that you are bringing in what you need to bring in, that you're manifesting everything good in your life and having that positive mindset. And your manifestations will come forward. So any case, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. This went on way too long. <laughs> Should have only been a half an hour. Anyways, my apologies. <laughs> All right, guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.